Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail and the fact that we got Vader in the shop, today we are doing an installation of the sequence third brake light. So, without any further ado, I'm not even finna do too much talking for this intro. We're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. So, let's go ahead, hop to the back of this joint and start taking the stock one out. All right, y'all, so I can't even cap. I used to think to take these joints out, you'd have to pop the trunk and take that little cover off and, you know what I'm saying, and then get in there and undo the bolts. When you really don't even have to do that, you can literally just take a panel proper or a little pry tool or whatever and go all the way around and just break the bead. And then once you break the bead, it'll literally just pop out and you unplug it and then you plug in the new one. Speaking of the new one, if you, if you guys didn't check out yesterday's vlog when we did the unboxing of the sequence third brake light but yeah man like i was saying so you did just take a pry tool all the way through this and break the glue i already kind of started i don't know if you guys can really see but i'm gonna go ahead and work on getting this joint out and then we'll install the new one it's actually gonna be a two-day process because i have to get the extra wire and the switch to go ahead and set up the show mode so let's go ahead and get this one off bro. all right y'all so they're giving us an oil shipment right now, so I'm sorry if it's like extremely loud. But this is kind of where you'll get. You literally just kind of scrape all the way around, break that seal, and then all you have to do is pull this tab up right here and then pull the harness out and you plug in the new one. All right, y'all, so got the old one out. Now we're about to go ahead and start the new one. But before, Before we install the sequence joint, there is something I need to do. I gotta cut the zip tie right here and then pull the wire all the way out. That way when I do take the covering off to go ahead and connect this to the power source and the switch, it'll be easy. I don't have to take the whole thing off and then do it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that real quick and then I'll plug the factory harness in and step on the brake and show you guys the brake function. Alright y'all, so that basically concludes the first half of the installation. As you guys saw, you literally just have to break the seal and then you can pull the third brake light right out. Super easy, no bolts to undo or anything like that. And then literally right after you pull it out, just clean up the surface a little bit and push the sequence third brake light right on man. Now all I have to do is go get some extra wire and a switch. That way I can go ahead and wire up my, you know, party theme is what I like to call it you know what I'm saying the the show feature the show function go ahead and light, wire it up to a switch and then that way you guys will see the other theme that I chose for the sequence third brake light huge shout out to sequence for sponsoring Vader once again with the third brake light if you guys haven't already make sure you guys go check them out use promo code JI squad to save yourself 10% on your purchase save yourself some money it may not be the most amount but it is still something and <laughs> with times going like they are and gas prices being almost ten dollars i'm helping you out you know what i'm saying so take what you can get but with that being said y'all give me a couple minutes i'm gonna go get these tools and i'll be right with y'all the next day
sir, man. Hopping in the Vader. Put that red seat belt on. Excuse me, y'all. It's hilarious, bro. Every time I get in my car, I need gas. Every it's it's literally, literally every single time. But and we're currently on. Uh, the Tim, well, damn, Polo Cap a lot. Shit. No, you got money, boy. You do not need mine. Anyway, so right now, y'all, we are actually about to head over to AutoZone to go ahead and grab some supplies so that we can go ahead and wire in the party function of the sequence third brake light. So I will see you guys once we get to AutoZone. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you guys need to pick up to make this work. Um, and show you guys how to do it as i always do and then at the end of this video you guys will have seen the break function and the party function you dig so let's go ahead and let's let's just get straight to autozone man uh, all right so as you can see just made it got later sheesh you already know, man. Everywhere I go, I got to park by myself as far as possible. You know what I'm saying? Right in front of the sign. There's low-key a picture, but they don't sponsor me. So we're going to go in here and see if we can get this damn, uh, these, these supplies, man. These are the joints you're going to need right here. You feel me? This is the line. 18 gauge is perfect because it's not that high of a voltage. Now you just need a switch, a switch, so we're going to look for them, a little toggle switch that they have. One hour later. These are they little switches. Um, I think I'm going to get, you already know I got to go with the red, so let me just grab one of these. You really just need like a two prong, you don't even need a three. Um, but these are all they got, so I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. We're just gonna do this. So this is exactly what you need right here. Got what we needed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to AutoZone. The camera's battery is about to die, of course. Got Vader right here. Come on. Get a little, you know, huh? Yeah. Let me see y'all back at the J. That's just echo through the whole goddamn neighborhood. All right, y'all, so back at the shop now, man. Um, basically, what you're gonna wanna do is take out all of these push tabs so that way you can expose the bare metal behind the trunk. Um, and if you guys remember, we undid the zip tie on that wire. So it should just be hanging down and we'll be able to go ahead and splice that wire with the, uh, the extra wire that we bought from AutoZone and then connect it to the switch and the battery terminal um, and we should be able to go ahead and have that show function working. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off real quick and I'll get back to y'all. All right, y'all. So now that you get the, once you get the cover off, you'll be exposed to this right here. You should be able to just reach in there and grab this wire. Now, all you're gonna wanna do is kind of cut off some of this extra um, isolating rubber, you know what I'm saying? Expose that wire and then you'll splice it into the wire that you have, you know, to extend it, and then you go ahead and connect it to the switch. All right, y'all, so I have the wires connected right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this extra wire right here. And I'm gonna touch it to the battery, and if I did this correctly, the show mode should start going on the third brake light. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch this real quick, and we'll see if it's working. All right, y'all, so quick little update. We got everything connected. All the wires are ran, everything's tucked up. Just gotta run this weather stripping through, cover all this up, it's clean now. Um, I actually zip tied it to the existing harness, so it runs down there, and then my switch is just right here. Go ahead and give it power. There's a little light on there. Close it in. Yeah, we're in that. That's the party function, as you guys can see. Going crazy. And then you hit the switch, light turns off, regular third brake light. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, y'all. Many unbearable hours later. All right, y'all. So that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and drop a comment in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, make sure you guys go ahead and go to the description tap on the link man and go check out sequence once again huge shout out to sequence i really appreciate you guys for working with the channel for yet again another build this is the second build that i have been working and partnered with sequenced um for their third brake light so again i'm super stoked i really like it if you guys are interested in getting yourself one make sure you go down to the description click the link and use my promo code ji squad yep ji squad of course is the promo code it'll save you guys um 10 percent at checkout so make sure you guys go use that code and check out sequence for your mopar needs your chevy needs and um pretty much almost every car they really they really they really didn't stacked up in the uh in the past year man so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and roll this outro i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace